Behind the net, coming out in front, McKinney, near side. He's got Alexander at the point. Holes, 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 right out in front. In comes Turnbull. Shot clock score, rebound Turnbull. Parra was complaining about one of the lace. I think it might have been Turnbull who had speared or slashed Parra, which prevented him from making the save. And this is what precipitated what happened, uh, what's going on right now. Scott Garland fighting vigorously with Ray Scapanello to get loose. I think you're right, Don, in the fact Parra seemed to be held out of position that he couldn't get back in there to coming across the net to make that save on Turnbull. And this is what he was going to charge out of his crease, and this is where the altercation did start in the corner. I get the feeling that Dave Noel has let this game get out of hand. I mentioned earlier in the first period that he was calling a lot of penalties to try to keep it under control, but even within trying to keep it under control, uh, he's lost it completely. DuPont goes to the box for the Flyers, but Scott Garland continues to show his vehemence down in the Flyers' offensive right-wing corner. Finally, Scapanello lets loose, but he's not going to move too far away from him. And as the lease penetrated, it was, and it looked as though he might have been standing in the crease, one of the Leafs, Holding Parant from moving back to make the save. Right there. There it is. He has blocked that was completely done. This is what had Bernie upset and why he was running out uh, to get a save. It was, at least it appeared, to be standing in the crease at the time, which should disallow that goal. They certainly have now, of course, being behind four to one. Uh, Leafs have a commanding lead. Again, you'll see uh, he wasn't in the crease, but he was interfering with the goaltender. Either way, it should have been no goal. And there we see where the altercation started as Bernie's out trying to get the attention of the referee to get his complaint into him. And while they figure out exactly what penalties will be called. We're going to remind you that there's 1606 remaining in the second period with a score Toronto 4, Flyers 1. Don Earl with Gene Hart and Ted Lindsay back in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. And uh, the consultation down below continues, Ted, as apparently referee Dave Newell now carrying on a heated discussion with Scott Garland, which is rather unusual. Normally a referee will not even talk to a player. I can't believe that Gar Garland seems to be getting his point across to Newell and Newell hasn't even told him to sit down. And as you mentioned, generally they wouldn't even talk to him at all. Maybe he's trying to protect himself from getting too many penalties and uh, he's out, looks like he's going for the game. It would appear so. He's headed toward the Toronto bench across the way with full equipment in hand. Turnbull is going up. Now referee Dave Newell pointing a warning finger at Bobby Clark. We'll have to wait until the announcer makes this. The announcement has two of the penalties and we'll find out what it is. He was handling that linesman pretty rough down there. There could have been something to do with that too, Don. Kenny and Ferguson get assists on Turnbull's goal. So the goal stands. DuPont a double minor cross checking and roughing. Garland the game is conduct. Gets two minutes for roughing, but 